Hello, my name is Ruben and welcome to my channel, Messianic Judaism. So today we're going to talk about something really interesting uh, in the Chinese culture. And I'm talking about the Chinese culture way in go going way back 4,000 years ago, uh, in which the, uh, the, the emperors used to sacrifice a bull um, in the temple of heaven. So this bull was uh, sacrificed to the god of the heavens. And this god of the heavens wa was called Shang Di. But who is this Shang Di? Uh, Shang Di, in, it literally means in English, the heavenly ruler. By reviewing recitation used at the border sacrifice, which was when they sacrificed this bull, uh, recording the status of the Ming, da uh, the Ming Dynasty, one may begin to understand the Asians' reverence for Shang Di participating in this rite. Clearly, showing that he considers Shang Di the creator of the world. And it says, of all in the beginning, there was the great chaos without form and dark. The five element, which he referred to the planets, have not begun to revolve, nor the sun and moon to shine. You, O spiritual sovereign, first divided the grosser parts from the pure. You made heaven, you made earth, you made man. All things with their reproducing power got their being. So when we hear to this, um, ancient Chinese recitation, what are, what comes to our mind? The book of Genesis, correct? In Hebrew, Bereshit. And uh, Genesis 1, verses 1 to 2, 9 to 10, 16, 27, and verse 28, we read, In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Bereshit, Elohim et hashamayim ve'et ha'aret. In Hebrew, the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the face of the deep. And God said, let the waters under the heaven be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear and it was so and god called the dry land earth and the gathering together of the waters called the skis and god made two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night he made the stars also so god created man in his own image so there is clearly some sort of connection with this ancient recitation to shangdi and the book of Genesis. And right, and the issue is that since the Tower of Babel, all the cultures were dispersed. So this knowledge of the one true God was somehow transmitted into other uh, cultures after the Tower of Babel. And Shangdi, the creator God of the Chinese, surely appears to be one of the same as the creator God of the Hebrews. In fact, one of the Hebrew names of God is El Shaddai which is phonetically similar to Shang Di. Even more similar is the early Zhou pronunciation of Shang Di, which is Zhang Dai. Another, another name for the god which the ancient Chinese used interchangeable with Shang Di was Heaven, Tian. Zheng Zhuan, a scholar of the early Han Dynasty said, Shang Di is another name for the Heaven, Tian. The great philosopher Mots also thought of Heaven as Tian as the creator god. So there is a great parallel between uh, Shang Di, the Chinese god, and this was way before Confucius, way before the idols they currently worship. It was way back then, before in the ancient Chinese culture, they only had one and one only god, Shang Di. So what do you think? You think Shang Di is actually El Shaddai, our god, the god of the Hebrews, the god of Israel? To, uh, comment in the section below, in the comment section, what do you think? And follow us for more videos. God bless you. Shalom, shalom.